Hello everyone, I'm Minghui from WCSNG at UC San Diego. Today I will present our work titled ULOC, Low Power, Scalable, and Centimeter Accurate UWB Tag Localization and Tracking for Indoor Applications. Remember how the GPS on your phone changed all our lives since the smartphone era? In the IoT era, indoor localization will be the next GPS. What are the current technologies to enable indoor localization? While there are various solutions out there like virtual and RF-based systems, none of them meet all these requirements other than UWB with its unique high bandwidth and thus has been widely adapted in consumer market and industry. But are these the only requirements that UWB has to meet? To better understand what today's applications demand, let's place ourselves in a huge smart warehouse with hundreds of boxes, robots, and employees working in close proximity. In this warehouse, we want robots to find, navigate to, then pick up items on their own and not to occasionally catch human workers off guard. How can we make this warehouse smart while preventing such accidents? This requires the infrastructure to localize these hundreds of assets within an instant and with high 3D accuracy. A simple solution is to attach long lasting EWB tags to people and assets. But can the current EWB system satisfy these requirements? Current systems commonly employ two-way ranging TWR to provide the location of the tag. In TWR, at least two packets, a pull and a response are exchanged between each anchor and tag. Next, these packet exchanges happen with each anchor in the environment. There will be at least eight packet exchanges to furnish a single 3D location. Hence, TWR systems not only have high latency as they exchange so many packets, they burn up a lot of power on the tag and make it hard to scale up. Clearly, TWR cannot meet the requirements we talked about. In contrast, we present ULOC, where we design a tiny tag to have a very simple protocol that makes it low latency, allows it to conserve energy, and leaves the rest to the infrastructure. Then we design an anchor to work with such tag protocol. It makes the locations of each tag centralized at the infrastructure while remaining scalable and have no compromise in accuracy. Now let me go into the details on how we come up with these designs. Surprisingly, what we first learned is that EWE reception is at least 50% more power hungry than transmission. Contrast to tra traditional wireless radios where power amplifiers make transmissions power hungry, wideband cross correlation for packet identification make EWB reception more power consuming. Some previous works have the tag turned on in continuous reception mode, and by actively searching for EWB packets and computing its own location, it consumes up to 10 times more power than transmitting. Imagine a tag which can last for three years, only lasting for one month. Further, tag locating itself makes it require bulky hardware. While this is great for smartphone types of devices, it will not fit for our requirements. Based on these observations, we designed the simplest tag where it can wake up, transmit a beacon, and then go back to sleep. This leaves the complexity onto the anchor to make sure it localizes tag in 3D in low latency and high accuracy. So how do we design our anchors to handle this? Turns out if we can measure the angle of arrival of that beacon to multiple anchors, we can triangulate the location of the tag. Thus, ULOC for the first time designed its anchor to enable precise 3D angle of arrival measurement. With a single beacon from the tag, it can output the angle of the tag in polar and azimuth plane. So now what's in this black box anchor that estimates this angle of arrival? We custom designed the ULOC anchor boards using eight EWB transceivers carefully spaced out in an L shape. More details on how we synchronize these eight antennas and perform 3D AOA estimations can be found in our paper and the 20 minute talk. This, however, is not the end of the problem. We observed that in dynamic multipath ridge conditions, ULOC anchor can make incorrect predictions on the angle of arrivals. To solve this, we developed a tracking algorithm 
further details of which can be found in our 20 minute talk and our paper. Now to see ULOC in action. We track ULOC tag co-located with a VR controller held by the user. The bottom left shows VR controller ground truth in blue and ULOC predictions in orange. We can see that ULOC gives only an eight centimeter of median error and 18 centimeter of 90 percentile error in 3D. To summarize, by using single beaconing protocol paired up with our custom designed 3D AOA meshing anchor and tracking algorithm, we have made ULOC an indoor localization and tracking system that requires low power, remains scalable in various setups, and output with low latency, centimeter accurate 3D locations. ULOC's hardware design and software are open source. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out anytime.